Hello and welcome back again. This is session 10. Now today I want to talk about motivation and how you can get yourself to take action. And I want to share with you some of the ways that I motivate myself and get myself to do what's got to be done even when I'm feeling frustrated or even when I'm not sure what to do or even when I'm feeling overwhelmed or even when a difficult decision has got to be made. Because it's times like that that really test us, okay? And if we've got the right way of thinking and the right mindset in those times of challenge then that's when we overcome the odds and that's when we really shine and that's where we really achieve outstanding results where other people would have just retreated back to their comfort zones okay I hope I make sense so remember earlier in this course we already discussed the idea of overwhelm where there's so many possibilities so much to be done that most people just don't know where to turn, they don't know where to start, they don't know what action to take. So overwhelm is a, is a terrible place to be. And also when you're in overwhelm, you can also feel a sense of confusion and frustration. All those type of feelings go together and that's not good for taking action. What most people do then is they just end up taking no action. They just go down Starbucks. Now, how do we get rid of that feeling? How do we get rid of the overwhelm, the confusion and the frustration? What we do is simplify things. We get a step-by-step -step plan so that we can do things day by day, step by step in order to get our result, okay? Because I believe that big successes are the result of consistently taking the small day-to-day -day action steps consistently that over time, end up creating a massive successful result because I think a lot of people live in fantasy land where they want to make a million dollars they want to make 10 million dollars they want to make a billion dollars and they want to make it this week okay now to me that is just ridiculous that's delusional that is what I call fluff talk and you'll hear people say things like I, I'm gonna manifest a million dollars and I want to manifest it this week now to me that is absolutely ridiculous I don't believe that big successes come from doing one deal, one shot, one time, okay? Of course you can do that, of course there's ways of making a lot of money, anything's possible. But I invite you to step into the world where you just consistently do what's got to be done day by day. Consistently doing the small things that over time make the big things happen, okay? That's how I've achieved everything I've done. Every day I just do a few small things. I chip away at it, step by step, small little actions, day by day, okay? And to most people, they look at me and all I've done is perhaps done a bit of work, you know, edited a few videos, maybe got a web developer to build me a new web page. But guess what? Every day I'm doing these things. And if every day you do these small things, then in six months time, you'll be able to turn around and look back and you'll see an empire that you've built. And you'll be living that life that you always dreamed of six months earlier, okay? Now, remember me saying most people overestimate what they can achieve in a week. But they underestimate what they can achieve in a month. Or to put that in a different perspective, people overestimate what they could achieve in one year. But they underestimate what they could have achieved in ten years, okay? So I invite you to take on that way of thinking where you're not looking for the one shot, one time big deal that's going to finish it all, make you your millions and then you can retire. I invite you to step into the way of thinking where you're prepared to consistently do the small things that over time generate a large result day by day just working away at it. Now let me share with you some of the other ways that I get myself to take action. Sometimes if I'm working on something or if I'm building a new website or creating a new product or doing this or doing that, inevitably there's times where things aren't going well, you're feeling frustrated or you've got to make a decision or you know something like this and here's what I do, I stop and I say to myself I'll do this and I will stop at nothing. And then I put my head back down and I carry on working. And that has got me through some frustrating times where I didn't know what to do. I just stop. I say, I will do this and I will stop at nothing and then carry on. And I invite you to try that on for size. Next time you're feeling challenged or frustrated or you've got to make a decision, I will do this and I will stop at nothing. And that's the way it's going to be. Do you get that? Can you feel that certainty? If you take on that certainty and that drive and that decision and that power then it'll drive you through those challenging times and, and you'll come out the other side okay so I hope that's useful to you now let me tell you about another way that I 
motivate myself and get myself to take action. Again, if I'm feeling challenged or frustrated or I've got to make a decision or things aren't going well or I've got to do some work and I don't want to, I stop and I say this. I say I'm paying the cost of being the boss, okay? I'm doing the things that most people would not be prepared to do. I'm taking the extraordinary actions that are going to generate the extraordinary results. I'm paying the cost of being the boss and then I carry right on and I make the decision or do what I've got to do, you know, whatever it is. So again, I invite you to try that out for yourself. Next time you're feeling challenged or if you've got to make a decision or if you're frustrated or you've got to do some work, say, I'm paying the cost of being the boss. It's times like this where I shine. This is where I stand out. This is where I do the things that most people would not be prepared to do. It's moments like this where most people would retreat back into their comfort zone, back into their comfortable little life, you know, back into their comfortable little job. But ultimately, over time, they settle for a life of mediocrity. And it's moments like this where we make decisions and we get things done, which is where we step into a life of, you know, outstanding results, where over time we, we generate magnificent results. And then those normal people are looking at us and saying, God, you're just so lucky. And of course, it was never luck. It was the willingness to do what's got to be done. That's what makes us stand out. That's what gives us extraordinary results. So, pay the cost of being the boss. Do what's got to be done, even when it's uncomfortable. Now, there's one more way in which I motivate myself, and I want to share this with you as well. I think beyond myself. Whenever I'm feeling challenged or if I've got to do something, I think to myself, you know what, I'm not just doing this for myself, I'm doing this for my kids as well. Now, I haven't got any kids yet, but inevitably one day I will. And I don't want those kids to have a dad who's got to go to work all day every day. I want my kids to have a dad who's going to be there when they go to school in the morning and be there when they come home from school at night. And I'm not married either, but whoever ends up my wife... I don't want her to have a husband who's working 9 to 5 every day and then who comes home tired at night. When I build my websites, I'm building an empire that's going to live on beyond my life. It's going to be feeding my kids, it's going to be feeding my grandkids, and it's going to be feeding my great-grandkids. And I invite you to step into that way of thinking. When you create your businesses online, you're creating a legacy which is going to live beyond yourself. If you got hit by a bus tomorrow, your websites would still be there like a pension, paying money into your bank account and feeding whoever's got to be fed. That's the way I look at it. And when I think of it that way, you know what? Those tough decisions, they just don't seem so tough anymore. They seem easy because there's only one choice and that is do what's got to be done. Build an empire, create passive income streams to feed your kids, your family, your great grandkids, even if you're not around. That's the way I look at it. Now, it might sound a bit soppy, but it absolutely works. When I think like that, I take extraordinary actions because I'm not just doing it for myself. So try it on for size. I hope you can get that point. I hope that really makes sense, and I hope you can feel what I'm talking about. The next time you're making a decision or facing some challenges or anything like that, when you're building your business, then just remember, you're not just doing it for yourself. You're doing it for a lot of other people as well. Okay, so I hope you've enjoyed this session. I hope this is useful to you, and I hope you can take away some useful ideas which you can use for yourself. So we've still got a couple more sessions to go in this course. We've got session 11 and session 12, so we've got more interesting things to talk about. We can have a lot more fun together. So thanks for joining me today. My name's Ben Lowry. My website's www.youtubecashsystem.com. And I really hope you listen to this session a couple of times. There's a lot of really valuable points in this track. So go back and take another listen. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next session. Goodbye. <laughs>